wana wabariki eh ungeomba mbaya anaweza kusimama asimame ndio tuweze kwanza kushirika Bwana yetu Yesu Kristo twaja bila yako masaa haya ya jioni Mungu wetu tukushukuru kwa kuwa pamoja nasi tangu tulipokuwa hapa siku ya Jumapili na Bwana umetulinda siku hizo zote na ukatuwezesha tukawa tuko hapa tena ndio twajikabidhi mkononi mwako Mungu wetu zaidi tukiomba ukatusamehe makosa yetu ukasaidie Bwana tukaishi kama yalivyo mapenzi yako Mungu wetu tu naomba neema na neema zako upendo wako ulio mkuu Mungu wetu kapata nafasi ndani yetu na ndio Bwana tukawe sio sisi tunayeishi bali ni wewe Kristo umepata mahali pa kuishi ndani yetu tuna tuna kushukuru kwa yale yote Bwana umetendea kwa upendo ambao umetupenda Mungu kwa yale yote umetu fanyia katika ulimwengu huu Mungu wetu tunasivu na kujinua jina lako tunaomba kazidi kuwa pamoja nasi tunapokusanyika hapa Bwana ukaje na jia yako ya kipekee ukatunenee na Mungu tukifikapo wakati wa kutoka hebu Bwana tukawe tuko karibu na wewe zaidi ya vile tulivyoingia hapa yote tunaweka mkononi mwako tukijua na tujua zaidi hasa mahitaji yetu unayajua Mungu wetu ni obiletu tutaendelea kutembelea na kutendea kama Bwana ya kupendeza Asante kwa yote. Tunaomba tukiamini katika jina lako takatifu Bwana Yesu Kristo tumeomba. Amen. Bwana wabariki sana. Ningependa tuimbe wimbo tu mmoja tu ambao tutatumia kumwalika mchungaji na pia eh, kama ndiyetu atasaidia kwa kuchukua zaka eh tuimbe wimbo moja nyimbo za Kiingereza wimbo moja tu tukimwalika ndugu yetu maana pia masaa yameenda sikawe tuna eh na eh tumia wakati mrefu eh tutaimba wimbo namba 166 nyimbo za only believe sing the wondrous love of jesus sing his mercy and his grace in the mansion bright and blessed you prepares a place ndio kifika kifungo cha mwisho mchungaji anaweza kuingia ndio tuweze e, kuma kuendelea mm sio mwema sana kwa uibaji ile tu bana
open our Bibles in the book of Hebrews, Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 8. Let us pray. Our precious Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, this evening for giving us this humble opportunity, Lord, to come, Lord, and worship you hear your word and be in your presence this evening. Amen. It has been your routine in the Garden of Eden that you used to visit your children in the evening. Yes. And once more again in this another evening, Lord, of time, mm -hmm. at this particular evening of this day, we ask you, Lord, that you may visit us again and speak, whisper to us the ones of love, Amen. that you can go home, Lord, tonight, satisfied. We commit the reading in your hands in Jesus' name, Father, I pray. Amen. Amen. By faith, Abraham, when he was called to go out into a place which he should after receive for an inheritance, obeyed. And he went out not knowing whether he went. By faith, he sojourned in the land of promise 
as in, an, in a strange country, dwelling in tabernacles with Isaac and Jacob, the heirs with him of the same promise. For he looked for a city which had foundations, whose builder and maker is God. I will read Revelation 21, verse 2. Eli John saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. You may have your seat. Now, today I want to speak on the city, the new city. And maybe on Sunday, I'll speak on the people that will live in that city. Now, uh, while I was making this uh, sermon of today and Sunday, I'm getting a bit worried uh, after you look at how we believe us, how we behave. And the ones that are given by the Bible and the message for the people that will live in that city. Now you will get worried. Who among us that will live there? But because God said that there are people that will live in that city. It means there must have some people Amen. that probably believe this message and probably comes to church that by God's grace we will live in that city. Yes. But as his brother Bram said, he, he, when he looked at the rapture, he said he is afraid when the terrible people who make it. That is rapture. Now, when we talk about this city, and this city will be built by the same people that will live, that will, will, will rapture, then you get much worried. Because this city is for Abraham. Because Abraham, so it has to be for Abraham and his seed. Because the Bible says, we have read it from the Bible, by faith, Amen. Abraham, when he was called out to go out into a place which he should after receive an inheritance, an inheritance, obeyed. So, starting from there, now, for one to be in that city, he must have obeyed the word of the Lord. Amen. And when he was told, get out of this place and go to a land that you don't know. And I will show you that land. And in that land there will be a city. He obeyed. To obey is not believing, this obey does not mean that he believed what God said. Yeah. That is just the first step. But obeying means he left the place and, and he started going. Amen. Now, at times, you wonder why we need a big room until we can break walls and so that we can have many members come in here. But you wonder where are they? You know, Brother Branham has never insisted on a Sunday. He has already talked of Wednesday night when there was a fellowship. But the people he this day desired to look at their television and look for the program. I love Susie. Because, you know, Sunday, all governments 
has given you free will for people to go to church. It's only when you have to program yourself on a fellowship that you can really say you have made it. A Sunday is a normal day for worship. Employers, governments, and devils knows today is a Sunday. And there's no problem with, with, with the Sundays. But the issue is fellowships. That is an issue. Only the overcomers, I repeat. And when you come that you will know what I'm talking about. Very few people can make it. You can go to the market at this time and you find, might find believers in the market. Yes. Now, as we talk. And everybody is busy doing whatever he is doing. That's all right. But Abraham obeyed. Amen. To obey is to act. Not to sit down and hear, say amen, and you don't do anything. So obey is doing something. So Abraham obeyed. And where he was looked, going, and he went to the place called Palestine. And he was told, now, Abraham, don't go any further than this. He started looking for a city. And the city that he was looking for was a city whose foundation and the builder of that city is none else but God. So, Brother Abraham tells us in the future hope that notice this city is 1,500 miles square. So, another mathematician told me 1,500 miles square is 2,400 kilometers. From here to Nairobi is 140. 2,400 is very far square and uh, how will it be that this city who will be in a land occupying 2400 kilometers square is because the sea will be gone yes. there will be cause plenty Near, near for four fifth of it is in water, the land. Four fifth of the, of the land is in the water. That's right. The explosion drives up the sea and erupts the earth. Oh my, remember. Fifteen hundred miles square, which I've told you, is two hundred and forty. 2,400 kilometers. Remember the sea is gone. And the breadth and the height are the same. So, this city, it will be 2,400 uh, kilometers this way and 2,400 kilometers upward. And the breadth and the height are the same. That would make it 1,500 miles this way, 1,500 miles that way, and 1,500 miles. The rains by the wind and by the height. 1,500 miles. Think of it. Transparent gold. And the city and a wall around it. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean by being equal. It is saying, in other words, it's not a square or a cube. It is saying, and the walls and the foundations were equal. That doesn't necessarily mean it's a cube or a square. There is another geographical measure that the dimensions are the same, and that is a pyramid. So that city will be square. The height, the width, and the rent will be the same. But it will be square like our building here. But there's another way that is described in the Bible that can be real, and that's how a pyramid is built. Amen. 
square, four square lines, four square, and the walls are the same. In the earth's time of purifying by its baptism of fire, there will be volcanic, such as this earth exploding, and will push up a pyramid like mountain. Amen. So, you know, Abraham is looking for a city whose foundations and builder is God. And so, in the new earth, this new city, this city that Abraham was looking for, this city that John saw, hallelujah. But the Bible tells us, when this earth will be getting its baptism of fire, it will explode. And during its explosion, there will be like a volcano coming beneath the earth. And it will push a big mountain beneath upwards. And it will make a pyramid like mountain. And in this mountain, there will be plenty of room to do it. The whole thing will be changed. The whole service will be changed. You get it? It will push up a mountain like mountain. A pyramid like mountain. Now, you can start now see that this holy city is built by God. It's so fantastic the way it will be built. It will require no mason. It will require no carpenter. God by his own fire. He will be baptizing the earth. Because this earth has been, you know, baptized with the water during the times of Noah. Is that right? Amen. Now this earth has been cleansed by the blood during the time of Calvary. So this earth will be baptized with the Holy Ghost Amen. by fire. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And when it's been baptized by Father, if the earth will explode. Something beneath the earth will, will come up like it's like volcanic and it will bring a big mountain bigger than Mount Kenya. It will be 200 and 400 kilometers. Hallelujah. Upwards. And it will be 2,400 kilometers, you know, this way. It will be a square like. And it will be a big pyramid. Hallelujah. The new city and the new earth, the new creation, the city on the hill, with throne in the top of it. The throne up here in the top. And the dwellers, dwellers are up and down on this mountain. So those that will dwell on this holy city, which will be a mountain, which will be a pyramid, they will live downwards. And on top of this mountain, there will be a throne. Yes. If you can remember, we have gone through this, that the pyramid that Enoch built and the seven steps, yes. and it is at the seventh step that you meet somebody who introduced you to the king. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. So we can live from stage one to seven. The rest, is where the throne of God is. So people talk about pyramid. And we have seen the pyramid several times teaching. But let me tell you. Those are teaching. Pyramid teaching. But there will be a real pyramid itself. Amen. The pyramid itself is coming. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And this time. It will have the end stone. Because the throne will be at the top. God will be living at the top of the, of the mountain. In the walls that surround this, and 12 foundations, the walls that surround this, and the 12 foundations. So this, this, this holy city, hallelujah, this holy city, which is called New Jerusalem, that's what we have, that's how John described the holy city. He called it New Jerusalem. Would have 
one of them and the breast stone was in the arrow, which represented the 12 tribes of Israel. Don't mind about these terminologies. They're in the Bible. Don't, don't, don't mind about them. We are only describing this city. The most important thing, it's good to know, but the important thing is when we come to how can we be able to live in that city? So, so this 12 foundation represents the 12 tribes of Israel. You know, salvation is of Israel. And in the gates, the informed gates set just exactly like the temple in the wilderness. Like the tent was in the wilderness. So, this city would have four gates. Amen. East, west, south, and the north. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. In this city, there will be, it's a square. There will be four gates. Notice, each one and the apostles, three on each side, 12 apostles. And it was 140 cubits high. 140 cubits in exactly 216 feet, making each one of those big stones almost 20 foot tall, the breastplate in the gate, making up that wall that was around the city. Now, this city, who are four gates, like it used to be in the in the in the in the, in the wilderness, that every side and three tribes of Israel camped in his side to protect the ark of the covenant Amen. in the wilderness. Now this time, this time, this holy city will have four gates, and in each gate there will be names. Of the three apostles. Amen. I will repeat that for you. Amen. Notice. Each one and the apostles. Three on his side. Because they are twelve. Amen. So. In any case. You could not be around to enter. In the old tabernacle. Because of the tribes. That were guarding the city. Amen. In this city. The gates. Those names that are in those gates are the apostles. Nobody that is an apostolic that can get in. Do you see how necessary the prescription of Peter is? Amen. You come to see when you come to who who live in this city. One of the point is the overcomer who remained a pillar in this city. And he said, Brother Bam says, a pillar is a foundation. And it takes us back to Ephesians chapter 1, where Paul said, We are strangers and pringles, and we are co co-worker with God. Amen. Hallelujah. And he said, we are built on the foundation of the apostles and the prophets. Mm -hmm. Now tell me, how will you be a pillar? A pillar is a foundation mm -hmm. that holds the building. How will you be made a pillar if you are not apostolic? Mm -hmm. That's why Brother Branham was asked by a minister, why do you say, that in the day we are living, after seals are opened, that we only have the apost we have the apostolic religion. Brother Branham said there is no other religion. Amen. The only religion we have is apostolic. Amen. That's the only religion. So if you are not of that religion, don't mind. You can't be in this city. Amen. Hallelujah. And each of these and twelve foundations, and each one had an emblems and different stone, which represented the twelve tribes of Israel. And the, and the apostles, each of our one that be one solid pure gate, set a name on an apostle. Ah, this gate, remember, we have read, 
This city is of pure gold. Yeah. Pure gold. What about the gates? They are of solid pure. They are not just simple gates. Remember, this is gates mean designs in heaven. You know, we have never seen anything heavenly. We have only been allowed to see things that are locally or whether you say important, wherever they are, they are made of this earth. Amen. Nothing new. Hallelujah. Amen. But our eyes, there are things that we have never seen. There are things that we have never seen Amen. that we will see that day. Hallelujah. Amen. The gates are good gates. And on these gates are the names of an apostle. And did Jesus, and did not Jesus say, you will sit on 12 thrones, judging the 12 tribes of Israel? Is that the Bible? Amen. Who sat at the gate? Or who sit at the gate? To judge. When they come in the city. Now, when you sit at the gate, who are you judging in this holy city? And judgment is over. White throne judgment is over. Now, who are we judging then there? Brabham says, oh my, there you are. The kings of the earth entering into the city comes before the apostolic judge Amen. as Jesus promised. You know these people that will be uh, that will be given life after white throne judgment, mm -hmm. they will live in other lands. Mm -hmm. They will live in America. They will live in China. Some will be in Africa. Are you following? Yeah. Some will be in Europe. And then the king and the queen and the servants will live. In the holy city. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. We they will live in the holy city. And you know the the, the 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 format is like during the time of the king and the queen. Uh, I forget the name of this king who asked his wife to come so that she can be introduced to the dignitaries of the king. They never used to live together. That is why. Esther asked for his people to pray for him so that when he goes to where the king lives it's not the way we live in the same room it's not that way this is this is devil's style hmm? how we live you know how we live don't try to sleep on a fellowship day you know how we live a man and and a man the way the way they the, in our in our today setup, they live in one room in one bed. It will not be like that in that day. No, sir. Esther did not live together with the king. It's a separate place. You only go to the king when there is a special invitation. And in the holy city, we will live down once. And the king who live at the top. Yes. Amen. Amen. So, when the, the other people that have been privileged to be given the possessions to lead their people, maybe in Kenya or in Sudan, I don't know how the setup will be. Those are things somehow we will know them when we will be in those ki that kingdom. I don't know whether it will be the whole Africa, I don't know. But they are kings will be taking food and other stuff to the throne. So as they enter the gates, that's why Abraham is asking, now this turn of the throne, to judge who? And Abraham says, the kings of the earth. Amen. That's entering into the city. Those who be coming from other nations, and they, are, they have now been given eternal life. They are bringing whatever they are supposed to bring to the holy city. Now 
they will have to be judged by an apostolic judge. <laughs> I love this. All of, all of, and all up and down here will be the redeemed. There will be the houses of pure gold. There will be avenues and parks and gardens. This city is not a joke. I've told you 1,500 miles is equivalent to 2,400 kilometers square. That's a city. And in this city, you know a city is like when you talk of Nairobi. Nairobi is a city. So Nairobi is not just a building. You understand? A city is not just a building. It's not the walls. No. It is what is, that's why it's called a city. It has, it has parks, it has avenues, it has highways in it, and so on. So there will be houses of pure gold. There will be houses in this, there will be houses in this city. It's not a house, it's a city. But in the city, there will be houses. There will be avenues. So maybe I will live in a court, Alleluia court. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe you live in a main avenue. I don't know. So if you want to visit the other brother, you go by the by the by the avenue. So you, you don't go anyhow. You know which avenue it is. And there will be parks and gardens. And garden is where you go and relax. <laughs> After maybe I've listened to the story of Danny. And he tells you of how things, I, I'm coming to that. When you come to those that will live in this city, those are the rights. Those are the lights. Then he will tell you, my brother, when we were taken captives, maybe, bro, uh, I tell you, I, you know, I got favor from the king. And I was mean a, a senior person in the government. I did not ask for the job, but anyhow, I landed myself there. And I knew they were passing some, you know, very important motion in the parliament. And I was there seated, and they passed a motion that I was so sure they were targeting me. But I did not waste time negotiating with them, neither rejecting it. I kept quiet so that the number can carry the day. And let me tell you, my brother and sister, when they passed that motion, it was 3 p.m. You know, breaking news that churches are closed. And nobody should go to the place of worship anymore. And in any kind of worship, you do it in your house. And I, I was hearing them pass the, 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 the news and whatever. And it was hiding from the cousin everywhere. And the chiefs, and I said chiefs, and the handmaids were given this instruction. But let me tell you, my brothers and sisters, when they did that, they attacked my God. That is the time I said, I will pray openly. I've been closing myself in my closet. I will do it openly as though they see. I'm telling you. We might not be the people that will be hearing those stories. Must be somebody who never stopped going, getting to church when the government announced that. I don't know whether you have heard what I've said. I am convinced we don't have people who believe in God. And you they are. And I'm saying, I'm not saying I am one of them. And if there are believers today, I am sure maybe from when Corona came, they must have taken communion by one cup. 
those are believers. The rest are just people who say they believe, but they don't know what they talk about. The message is now turning to be so hard like that. Because this city is purely for overcome. People who never cared in their day. Not that Abraham did not have good land or a good house. He was a rich man. That's what the Bible says. But when he was told to relocate in your bed, to relocate is to wake up and go. You can look, you will tell those that will overcome in our day, you will tell Daniel, Daniel, if it is time for testimony, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Daniel. I have something to say. We cannot find ourselves there as overcomer, having never overcome anything. God cannot put us in a pipe and pump us and find ourselves in the other side. It will be very wrong mm. to hear testimony of Gideon, mm. to hear testimony of these uh, three men that were taken to fire, mm. and we have no testimony. Mm. Wake up, brothers and sisters. Amen. Something is not right. Yes. Yes. Something is not right. Amen. And I just I said by saying, Brother Abraham said, he will be surprised yes. to find 12 people yes. going up. Mm. Can you imagine mm. people to live the way they want and find themselves living in a house of pure God? Pure gold? Just because you say in your heart, I believe God, there is God, and be taken to the water, just like that? Simple as that? I will read to you how the Bible said about an overcome. That what are you supposed to overcome to be called an overcomer? Yes. So, the houses will be of pure gold, and there will be avenues and parks and gardens, and the rivers of life coming tricking out there from the throne and running down through the, the charms and over the terraces. Water. And the tree of life will be blooming in every yard and bear fruit. 12 times a year, I mm, yes. chase the fruit mm. every month. Mm. And the kings of the earth shall come into it and bring their honor. Mm. And the leaves are for the healing of the nations. Mm. When the kings are living in peace out there, mm. when they go out, they pick a tree, a leaf of like that. So when the kings come from their nations, submit whatever they are submitting to their city, and they are getting out, they will only pick a leaf. They are not privileged to take a fruit. They don't live there. <laughs> they are not allowed to take fruit. Fruit is for the dwellers. Is for the queen. Is for the people who live in the city. I don't know whether to call them metropolitan people. Not people that are living elsewhere. Because they have brought their honor here and whatever they were supposed to bring in the city after after after, after they have pledged their loyalty. When they go out, they pick a leaf. To, as a sign to their people, mm -hmm. there will be no war anymore. Yes. It will be peace forever. Mm -hmm. And when they go out, they pick a, uh, they pick a leaf. Like the dove come back, 
that the wrath of God has been settled. And brought the whole leaf into the ark. That's how, in the days of Noah, that's the, how the, the dove did it. So when the kings leaves, they, uh, by bringing his glory into the branch chamber, here into the city, he hold a leaf to his name, but king. <laughs> you know, when they come to the city, they don't go to the throne. The throne is not anywhere. It's at the top. You know, this is just the pyramid. We have pyramid teaching. That's just a teaching. We have seven steps. Hallelujah. And we have seven pyramid teachings. But you see, this, that, that is teaching. This is now the lateral pyramid. Enoch tried to build one. But he was not given the opportunity to put the capstone because God will not come in that day. But when the earth push the mountain like from beneath, uh, which will be a pyramid with four squares, the height and the length is the same, and the width is the same. That time, when that happened, the people, the overcomer, will live the, on the other side of the pyramid. But the king will live at the top. So when, that's why the problem says, when the kings of the earth bring their honor, and whatever they are bringing, they bring to the bride's chamber. They don't, they don't go to the king's chamber. That's why the bride will be made a ruler with him. We are joint here. Joint here means we share. It's to me. We will come to that. Now, the, a king, would take a leaf to an Imba king. If, if Kenya were have a king, he would take a leaf to, a, to, the, to, the, to an Imba king of Sudan, Ethiopia, something like that. And, 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 and say maybe, we are in peace forever. No more fight. Amen. Healing of the nations, it's all settled. One time we fought for one another's blood, brother, king telling another king. One time he fought, but this time we don't fight anymore. We are cherished and horrid and short and burnt children, everything. But now there is peace, the healing. No disease healing. It's all died. Healing of the nation. Amen. So the leaf will be to show that nobody can kill one another. There is peace forever. Nothing like that will happen again. That's why the, you pick a leaf. Now, the city with a throne in top. This city, 2,400 kilometers this way, 2,004 kilometers up way. And it's very far. It is very far. It is built where you see clouds. <laughs> Remember the cloud that was taken was 28 miles high. And their clouds don't even appear. Twenty-eight. Mm -hmm. This is this is one one thousand five hundred km miles, which is two thousand four hundred kilometers up. Mm -hmm. It's a very big mountain. There has never been like that one. It's a very big big pyramid, very big one. This way and that way. Mm -hmm. Revelation 21-23. And they need no light, for the Lamb and the Lord God is the light thereof. Yes. So those that you live in the city, they will never need Kennedy. No, 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 what for? They will never need any electricity because the Lamb and God is their light. The Lord God is that pit of fire that formed the children of Israel through the wilderness. And he is ascended up on the throne. Is that, is that perfect kingdom? Amen. The kingdom that Jesus is to surrender to the Father. Amen. That God might be all, God might be all and in all. Jesus sits upon a throne here as our Joseph. Amen. And the king is that right that will be on top of Mount Zion 
And there's only light will flood the entire city. You know, when we are in that city, we will not see two personalities. We won't see our father and Jesus. No, that is not to be the case. But what will happen is while we are in that city and we have been allocated houses and you are in a certain avenue, are you together? And all what you have read is in that city. And the throne of God is up. Mm. After the seventh step. Hallelujah. Amen. Then, you know, Joseph, what he was doing to Pharaoh, he made sure all the people of Egypt have a place loyalty to Pharaoh. And they are to do that through the plan of Joseph. You know, before, they, they were not sure whether Joseph has any meaning. The, the, the man in the church is Pharaoh. But then you go to Pharaoh, he tells you, go and see Joseph. You know, there are people who are Kimberembele. So when they needed food, like uh, senior people of the cabinet, they would think they are more close to the king and therefore they cannot bow before uh, somebody who is not uh, an Egyptian. Those things are in the people. There are people even today who think because they have connection with the boss, they can, uh, they, 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 can, they, can, they can bypass the deputy. <laughs> like what is happening in our republic, I read on the social media, there are people who are more connected to the president and they belittle the deputy. I hear something like that. So they feel they can get something without this person. But if Farah is clever, Farah was clever than the kings that we have. He was clever than the president we have. He knew if I allow people to come to me directly and belittle Joseph, then the people will, will, will squander the food. There will be corruption. Some will take food saying uh, it, 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 it is new as all that. So, every person in Egypt, in the middle of the clean, every person in Egypt, every person has to go through Joseph. You people have to cook food in the state house, in Egypt. They have to go through Joseph. Don't come into my office. Doesn't know how food is distributed. So the Bible says people do not want that. They complain. But the Bible told them, your complaint is of no effect. Joseph is the master plan. He is the man in the church. Go and see him. So Joseph made sure. Before he gives them food, he has to change them. Mm. So the Bible says, Joseph took all their money. Mm. And, they, they, and Joseph gave the money to Pharaoh. <laughs> so Joseph, when they, when they went to Joseph and told, told Joseph, all the money is finished, so now give us food. It's government food. He told them, you have cows, goats, and a land. Go and sell. Mm. So they sold everything and they took the money and they took the who would buy and everybody wanted food. There was no food elsewhere. Mm. So they took maybe the cows, the ranch to Joseph. And, he, and Joseph and then everything to Pharaoh. Mm. They said they have nothing. He told them. Then you yourself, you have to sell yourself. So when they sold themselves to, to, to Joseph, so that they can be given food, you know there is nothing you can do without the food. So all the people were bought by Joseph, and they were then back to Pharaoh. So all the people became of Pharaoh through Joseph. So that is how Jesus is doing. 
He is making sure that everything that we have, he gets hold of everything so that he can have everything to our God. That's what it means. That's how Joseph did in Egypt. So that you, you cannot go to the Father. You have to go through Jesus. Are we together? Now, and then because Joseph was a personality, and the Pharaoh was a personality, and Jesus and the Father are not two persons. Yeah. What will happen in the in the in the new in the new city? You will see Jesus sitting on the throne, and you will not see the Father, but you will see the light. Yes, yeah, yeah. That light is the Father fronting everywhere. You even if you want to look for your Nindro, you will see it. There will be so much light. Do you understand? <laughs> and the king is that the light that will be on the top of Mount Zion, and there's no light will flood the entire city. So that is not, that's how it will be. That thing coming to this one little tabernacle, fifteen hundred miles square from the same dimension. Why is it? Rabbi is asking. Why is it God so thought and cared so much about that little place of Palestine? See? Why? Why doesn't God care so much about Israel or Palestine or Canaan? When it's just a little spot that God fight for them, that is why he took Abraham. Why, 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 why did God take uh, Abraham to, to Palestine? And not to Kenya. Mm. Or why not to Los Angeles? I'm asking, why not to China? That he took him to Palestine. And why he took him? He fight for the people who live there. You try to fight them, God fights you. Why is God so much caring about this little spot? Mm. But right, but right in there is where the temple is set. That is where the new Jerusalem will break up, right there. Yeah. Why God likes so much of this place called the Palestine? Mm. It's because this pyramid mountain, mm. this holy city, mm. the new Jerusalem, mm. will come at that point. Yeah. Because the Bible says, Olive, Mount of Olive, shall cleave, path to the right and left. It is she's pushing itself. Sure, when she pushes up from the beneath, now they say it's pushing apart like, like this. It's pushing up. In that day, when he stand his only feet upon the mountain, notice on his throne, 1,500 miles high. You understand? It is at Jerusalem, where, where it is at Palestine. So the whole of Palestine will be completely inside the city because it will extend. So Jesus stand the headstone on the throne. When his sin has crowned, he crowned him, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, and he is the headstone. I don't have my pocket book with me. In other words, he has not put where he put his money. They call them pot pocket book. But if you notice in my book, in, in, uh, in, uh, in your pocket book, if you have one dollar bill, they have the seal of the United States. A long time ago, I remember, I used to put a dollar, one dollar bill, or one dollar in my Bible. I don't know where it went. Maybe somebody's story that I don't know. I used to call it to explain a point on this. But those days, we were only explaining the pyramid. Least you really know what we are talking about. That's how I came to know when I came to this point. Listen to this now. If you have one dollar bill, they have the seal of the United States, and an eagle on the one hand holding the spears and coat of arms, as it were, on the other, on the other hand. A dollar is the money of America. It's got 
the pyramid with all seen eye on top of it. Then the Bible says the Americans. They did not know what they were doing, the Americans. And on there it wrote in Latin. You find out in the series eight. This is the great seal. They did not know what they were doing. Neither did Caiaphas know he was prophesied. So Americans with the Andola, they are doing like Caiaphas. There is the great seal. Here it is, the city. It's not just a flat cube like this, see? But it's, it lean up so it can be seen. And upon this holy mountain of the Lord, the Lord shall descend upon top of his mountain. Here, yes. So on that dollar, they have built the, the pyramid and they have put the, 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 the capstone you know what I mean by the capstone? And on that part of the capstone, they are put a, a, they are put an eye looking or seeing it like it is seen everywhere. A big eye. And the Bible says they don't know what they are doing, but they wrote in Latin that is a great sin. But they did not know what they were doing, according to Brother Branham. But they were only prophesying that on this city, which will be on a mountain in the New Earth, they, the American prophesied that in the, in the New Earth, where there will be the, the new city or the holy city, New Jerusalem, Christ will be on top of this mountain with a very big eye, all looking. Hallelujah. And he says, here he is. And that is the reason the capstone was not put by Enoch. Why Enoch did not put the capstone? It's because Christ could not come in that day. Because it is Christ who sits on top. That's the reason the capstone has to come now. And you know, the coming of the capstone in our day is to finish the, uh, us, the building, us. Don't forget the pyramid teaching. Where we go to the seven steps or the seven virtues, and after you are complete, you are adapted. Are you, uh, do you remember that? No, that's to individuals. But there will be a lateral mountain pyramid. Ritual. Something, if, you, if we were here, we would say, that's a big building. What I'm trying to say is people who live in other nations that will be given a time life will be seeing the city. Amen. At a distance. Amen. Because it's too high. They can see. Amen. Remember, there will be no other mountains here not to let you see. So you can see there. <laughs> and in here we will dwell the redeemed I think this is a repetition something like that let me skip here now through this are you ready? Brother Brown says now this city we have described the new Jerusalem the 15 miles Square and a half city, 2,400 kilometer city. This is the city that Abraham was looking for. Amen. Abraham was not looking for Los Angeles or the big cities in China. No, he was not looking for a big town in, a, in, in, in London. No, he was looking for the new Jerusalem. See, being a prophet, he knew that city was somewhere. The Bible says so. He forsook the city he lived. And he went over. Look where he went. Exactly where it, it will be. Where Abraham went, 
it is exactly where it will be. He was looking for a city whose builder and maker was God. Being a prophet, Jesus got to prepare with his divine hands and divine city. Divine acting for a divine bottled people, for a predestinated people. He has gone to prepare for people that are predestinated. Nothing else can stay there. Abraham was looking for it and he professed that he was a princely and a stranger for he was looking for a city whose builder and maker was God. Is that true? Amen. That's why he, he was living in tents. That prophet, knowing it was somewhere, Abraham was so sure that it is somewhere. John saw it coming down, but Abraham thought it must be on earth right there. <laughs> when Abraham lived, he thought that city is somewhere. So he was looking for it, thinking it is now on earth. In the day, what kind of a life was he living? You can imagine. He was thinking that city is somewhere. Where God asked, when God asked me to leave my, my city and go to another place, and he talked of our city in their talk. So where I am, when he has told me, now stop. Now you have arrived. Stay here. So Abraham was not building a permanent building because that's why he was living in tent, thinking as he walked, he's going to come across the, the city that God has built for him. <laughs> Why? He made Melchizedek the king of it and gave him a tithe which had no father and no mother. He had no beginning of life or no ending of life. So Abraham met him and they took communion right on the retro spot where the city will be raised up, the holy mountain of the Lord. Amen. Where the redeemed will live. Can you imagine that Abraham, when he meets the king, Melchizedek, and they are giving him the time, and the king giving him the communion. So where are they were discussing and talking and eating? That is the spot. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. That is the spot that the thing will start coming and coming and coming and pushing itself and pushing itself until it is 1,500 miles. 2,004 kilometers high. And 2,004 kilometers across. And Brother Abraham was asked a question. Because now the redeemed, the bride, the queen will live there. Isn't it? In other words, that will be heaven. Yeah? Brother Abraham told us, God lives in the house. God lives in a house, and his house is in heaven. And where God is, is heaven. I think we have not forgotten this. That Isaiah said, when God, see, God sits in heaven, and his feet now steps on the earth. When you sit on the chair like that, when God sits like that, where he seated is heaven. And there is fit land, it's on earth. So, God will be staying 24, 204, 400 kilometers up. Are you following? You'll be sitting, you'll be set, you'll be staying there. So, I'm only trying to let you know. Remember, there will be no other place you can call heaven. That is where God will be living. Mm. Or let me say, that's where Jesus will be. Mm. That's where the queen will be. Mm. Then, then there will be the earth. Remember, the pyramid is up. Yeah. And the heavens is that mostly above. Yeah. So, there are those people that live on the earth. Mm. Then he was asked a question. 
Now, who will populate the earth outside the city? So the other place is the earth. I don't know whether you have ever thought about that. Then Brother Brown said, it will be the redeemed that will populate the earth outside the city. But they will not be the elected and called bride. Why? The bride will live inside the kingdom with the king. Amen. Those that will populate the earth in simple terms, we have gone through the white throne judgment. Those that will pass the judgment, or otherwise, their names were never written from the book of life. And they were not predestinated to be the bride. And they were, eh, they were fully fudging. And they were good to the brethren, or they were good to the bride. They were alive after, after a millennium. Is that right? Amen. After judgment, they will be given life. They are the people that will populate the earth. Because the bride will be inside the city. And we'll be living there with the king. On the outside, we will be the kings of the earth that labor and bring their toils, not the toil, but they will bring their fruit into the city. Whatever they do in the farms, remember in the garden of Eden, man was created to, to, to raise the land, to farm. That is the primary work why God made man is to take care of the earth, to dress it. Hallelujah. Amen. So, the people that will be given life, <laughs> let me try to imagine. There will be no industry to make cars to go away. There will be no universities to teach who and what. There will be no medicines to cure who. Amen. Amen. Remember, it is this point. If you want to go, you have gone. Huh? Huh? I will read you a quote Brother Abraham said. When Jesus is talking to the Father, I know what they are talking. It is Brother Branham who said, I will read it to you. It's, I don't know where that is, but it's in the numbers. That when Jesus Want to tell the light. The ones who is flooding their city, something. Brother Abraham can say it. That reminds of another love song. I don't know whether, whether that is where Brother Abraham is bringing the, the idea. A song that is sung. <laughs> Before you say something, I've said already, amen. <laughs> I'll come to that point. Do you know what that means? We are of the same level. The king, the queen, Jesus, call him God, call him whatever you want, we are the same. It's only that he is the king. But whatever he thinks, we know. What he is thinking in his mind, you can tell him. For instance, when I when I am when I think when I feel I'm thirsty in that day, today when I'm thirsty, I ask my, my wife to bring me some water, isn't it? Suppose suppose in this day that I feel I'm thirsty, I need water. 
Then before I say, then my wife tells me, let me bring water that you are, that you are asking for. Don't you think that is magic? <laughs> then those are the things of that land. That when you want to go and face so and so, who lives in, in a certain avenue? Why do you think 24 miles, uh, no, 2,400 2, 2, kilometers? If somebody lives in the other end, on a normal line, can you walk? Eh? It's not Nairobi. Yeah, Nairobi, I told you, is 140. It's 1,400. I don't know where. You think you can walk? But when you think so and so lives on that corner and you want to go and see you, to think that you are there. Yeah, you are there. That is another kingdom. It's another life. So on the outside, we will be the kings of the earth that labor and bring their toils or bring their fruit into the city. And the doors will not be closed by night. Closed for who? We close for thieves. We close for sinners. If nobody stole, if never nobody killed another person, you would be having we would be having a house where you can have a shelter so that you are not rained on and you leave your things just the way they are. But you put it, you put it strong doors and the watchman because of the devil. So this time the devil has been finished. And there is agent. And the sinners are no more. So this city has no doors. It's when, when they want to come, remember in the city there is no day, there is no night. There is eternal. Eternity is full time. There is no day, there is no night, there is no Monday, there is no Tuesday in that city. Not in, not in the other places. Ah. <laughs> now this light on top of the mountain will not lighten the whole world. This light, which is lit or flood, the, the floods, you know, is like those big bumps for security that are put in the city. They, when you go to the airport, you think that they are, there it is there. Where, where they have these good uh, stand-ups, where people, people f play football. I'm not saying where people try to play football in our, in our stadiums. I'm saying where football is played. It, time is no problem. Night or day is the same. They have put very big front lights that you look, you see as if it is during the day. Are you hearing? Yeah. So how the Lord, our God, will be on top and and flooding with light the entire city. Amen. But this light will not light the whole world. Because there are other people in Europe, in America, in the father's China. Remember, there is no water. So there are people living to the, uh, the, the, the corners of the earth. You know, <laughs> I'll be love a bit. This time you will see the corners because there will be no water. Hmm? When, see, the earth has corners. When the, if there is no water, you see the corner. So there have been people living in the forest. Those, those now that are completing the earth. So not everybody will have this privilege of this light. This light is to lighten the city. The rights that are in the city of Nairobi are not for us. <laughs> but says, it, it, it it only lightened the city. It only lightened the city. But it can be seen in the distance of thousands of miles, maybe. There are people, when there was no light at all, anywhere in, the, in our village, at 
times when they made this Kabul club, maternity club, and they put those big lights so that they can play tennis, I don't know what they were doing there. They, we, we, we could benefit a bit to see like, as, when there's no moon, at least in our village, you can walk at night, it's not very dark, like uh, other places. They had very big flags of light. So we, had, uh, we couldn't go at night by help of that light when there's no moon. Are you following? So this light of, 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 of God can be seen in the distance of thousands of miles maybe. But it would lighten the earth because the Bible said in the new world that uh, in the new world, that from one Sabbath to another, and from one to another, and from new moon to another, yes. will be people come up before the Lord and to Zion to the city to worship. Yes. So in other places, there will be moon. Yes. And they will have Sabbath, which means by a moon, they have days. Yes. They have their calendar. But those that live in the city are living the fullness of time. They don't have days, they don't have night, they don't require the moon, they don't require the sun. Why? They are, they are, they are, they are, they are new people. They, this is a new creation. You understand that? The other people that will live in other places. Those, those who think, ah, it, it is very bad to miss this place. Especially with this knowledge that there are people who live 24 hours light, no day, no night, have the privilege to live where they are guarded. Mm. <laughs> you know, when I talk on garden, you think it's your job. <laughs> it's not. It's not. And garden is a specified place, forest, flowers, all what is conduced by a human being. And the people feel happy. And when they go there with the stress, they come out stress free. Because they have been in a garden, they have enjoyed themselves. By a man made garden. The way he thinks an garden can be. And you are not hearing. I'm saying the way a human being can think an and then a garden can be. But I'm talking a garden designed by our Lord Jesus. Mm -hmm. So we have the privilege to go to those gardens and to go to the parks to see animals that don't eat people. Mm -hmm. They see their, the queen has come. If it's a lion, it stands up. And someone tried to do like this. <laughs> it, it's aware. Yeah. It's aware. Yeah. This is a queen of the, my king. Yeah. It's aware. Yeah. It's aware. Yeah. <laughs> now, they will be outside the city, these people, that will complete the earth. They cannot live in the city. They will be outside the city. Not the bride, but the people that come up in the second resurrection. That will be the tillers of the soil. Just like Adam was and so forth. And the care and, and, and the careers of the garden. You know, that's the work they will do. But the king and the queen will remain in the city. The king and the queen we will remain the city. Cannot steal the land. No. There are people. Well, that's why God did not give them eternal life during the first time. That's why they could not insurrect the first time. That's why they were not in the millennium. God had a purpose. He chose them. He put their name in the book of life. Knowing they were alive after. They have some work to do. They will care for the king and the queen. Remember, we will be having the same bondage that Jesus has. 
Ebony that can eat. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. We will not be in the over nation. We will be in a glorified body. A glorified body is a body that has a combination of the human and the corporal body or fresh body. When somebody dies, get into your orphan. Is that right? This direction means the corporal body that, that died and was buried. And you go and live and your soul gets into the orphan. And you still exist in a waiting body, theophany, comes back on earth and he picks the, the buried body. Hallelujah. And it does not come becoming, it becomes a glorified body. It is the that stage of the body. So the queen and the king will live in that body. Remember Abraham when he met the people there, he said, they say, they told Abraham, here we don't sleep. We don't eat. And they told Abraham, we will come down there to take our bodies so that we can eat and sleep. In the new earth, in the city, we will sleep. Sleep is rest. Don't, we will not sleep because it's at night. There is no night there. But what, I, what is the house for? Of pure gold. So it's important that you can say, let me rest for a while. Hallelujah. Amen. Let me enjoy for a while. You know, you know, you know, we are trying, we are only assuming. That this is this is pure assumption. But you know, one day we will live there. But you do, do you know what? This will speak on Sunday. But I will read something more here. Only of a commerce, only of a commerce, mm. will, live, will be the queen. Mm. And Brother Abraham said, in the marriage of the Lamb, those that have the privilege to be married by the Lamb, those that will be the queen, he said. So many says, so many says, if the Lord will take this evil spirit from me, from drinking, or gambling, or from lying, or stealing, I will serve him. If the Lord, at, many people say, if the Lord, kama mungu angelitolea hii roo, sasa mungu anafikia hii, anasema hii. But the Brahma said, that is up to you. See? The Lord will not do that for you. That's up to you. It's up to you to make decisions. It's up to you. That's why I say. If somebody decides to come here with a stone dollar, young kids, no deacon can ask that lady, please don't come here. If that lady would come to me, that sister would come to me, I will call the deacon to the office and ask him whether anybody comes here to worship you. That is the truth. And you tell me. That is government regulation. I ask you, where is that in the Bible? I must declare, I am fed up with things that are not the word. And time has come for me, for me. Anything that is not scriptural, I cannot understand what is it. Let the government say it. We don't worship the government. We don't. We don't. That's why sooner or later we are going to have communion by one cup. So that the scriptures of the people that are not right can die according to the scriptures. According to the scriptures. They cannot remain alive, not alive. Let the 
scriptures be like? Those that will take and worthy, why not to die? Why not to die? And the scripture plainly speaks it so. We don't allow the devil at any. Can you imagine what will happen when you go to heaven? In Meshach and Shemraka, I'll give you their testimony. And we are silenced by even small devils, not big devils. What is that, my God? That we are afraid. Hallelujah. We don't worship the government. Amen. And those that are fearing, start fearing and get away. Oh yes, Lord. Amen. Amen. Glory. Amen. Hallelujah. The bride of the Lord Jesus mm. must come to the occasion of the day. Amen. Not good ones. Amen. That that those that have the seal of God mm. cannot be touched by Corona. Mm. We have to go to regularly see whether it is true or not. Yes. By obey what our Lord told us. Yes, Lord. Amen. Remember, you cannot try this if you are not a Christian. Amen. Amen. That is only for Christians alone. Yes, Amen. See, must try, you will die. Amen. I tell you. Amen. Amen. But for the believer, yes. it will cleanse you. Oh, yes, Lord. Amen. That's what communion means. Amen. Try if you are a sinner and see. Amen. Amen. Things God has brought in to Losa. And what I'm preaching is something that I prayed for. Amen. Amen. I was I finished in my heart this message. Then he came gave me this portion of, of the overcome. Amen. I am telling you, the devil has his choir as called Max. We are like in the days when Samson was arrested. Amen. Which church has said many Muslim churches today don't go to church. Not many. I'm saying many churches, message believer church, don't go to church because of government regulations. If they don't go to church, what about communion? And they did live streaming. The Bible talks of the assembly, assembly of saints. Yes. Amen. People can deal with me. Even you can deal with me. You are not dealing with me. What I'm telling you is the scripture. You can deal with the scripture, not me. Time has come for overcomers to do Amen. what overcomers do. Amen. Amen. Only believers can do this. Amen. They have no sense of science. Yes. They have no sense for government. Oh, yes. They only obey what the word has said. Amen. 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 Time has come for believers. Amen. Your senses is over. Amen. This is only for the 60 cents. I will read it to you what the Bible talks about what is overcoming. Mm-hmm. You'll get surprised. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Had the people 65 should not to not go to church. Mm-hmm. Are we worshiping them? Mm-hmm. Are we worshiping them mm-hmm. that they can know the criteria? Mm-hmm. We don't worship government. And we don't worship any pastor. We worship God who we will live with eternally. So you cannot say that if the Lord will take away the corona, then you will take communion. <laughs> Even people back a long time ago, and they have each one is cup. Because there is TB and the rest. Nonsense. I call it nonsense. The Bible takes talks of a cup, not cups. So we cannot say, if the Lord does this to us, if the Lord does this, if the Lord, if the if the Lord takes this evil spirit from me, 
from drinking, gambling, lying, and whatever, and whatever. Then I will serve you. That's not it. But Abraham says, that's up to you. You've got to do something. Two. The biggest part is for you. You have to make a decision. Then God will take care. This reminds me of the story of this man that was climbing the mountain with a hook. Climbing. Then he hooked a stone and the stone was loose and it was coming. And he cried, Oh Lord, help me now. Because the other time he was bringing it for himself and no problem. Now the problem has come, he won't help. So he was told by, by the one who is asking for help. If you want help, even, even leave alone with the, with the, with the, with the, with the chain. Okay. So the stone is coming. So anyhow, whether you don't... <laughs> this is this even making me laugh. Whether you don't do away with the chain, by holding, you are putting the stone to you. Mm. The stone has become loose because it's coming. You have, you have had a loosened it. Is that not the story? Yes. Well, my father, he, he has a kukuja. Mm. It was stable. But once you hooked it and you tried to pull yourself up, that's why it has come. Mm. So whether you want to release the, the, the chain or not, the stone is coming. And you don't go down with it. Yeah. Is that right? Mm -hmm. So, whether you, you release the, the, the chain to go down, mm -hmm. it is just the same whether you want to hold it or you don't hold it. Mm -hmm. So, the best thing is obey. Yeah. Take the instruction. Yeah. That is the same as I. Take to your words, Vero. Fortune today, he has answered. Mm -hmm. So, if. Uh, uh, leave alone the, 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 the chain. Leave it alone. Mm -hmm. By that you can be helped. Mm -hmm. So if you don't do it, mm -hmm. that's up to you. Mm -hmm. you, you. You remain with it, mm -hmm. the stone will come. Mm -hmm. What am I trying to say? We have to take strong decision mm -hmm. when it comes to the word. Mm -hmm. And not a man. Mm -hmm. Not saying a man. It is acting. The Bible said, They that overcome shall inherit all things. They that shall overcome inherit all things. They that overcome. You have power to do it. But you must be willing to lay it down. She has made herself ready. I like that. I like that word. That the bride mm -hmm. has made herself ready. In other words, mm -hmm. she has prepared herself. Mm -hmm. You see, God could not push us through a little pipe. Mm -hmm. Pull us out on the other end. Mm -hmm. And then say, blessed is he that overcome it. Mm -hmm. God is not stupid. Mm -hmm. That he put us in a pipe, mm -hmm. pump us, mm -hmm. and find ourselves on the other side. Then the same God says, now blessed on this part, blessed is that person that have our come. And he has done has pumped you, mm -hmm. not God. Mm -hmm. You had nothing to overcome. Mm -hmm. He just pushed you through. Yeah. You have not done anything. Mm -hmm. He has pushed you through. Mm -hmm. So God was not saying to somebody who has been pushed. Mm -hmm. So, but you have got to make decisions for yourself. I have to make decisions for myself. And in doing that, we show our faith and respect to God. We will come. Every age was told, those that to overcome shall be given this. Those that to overcome shall be given this. Now, what are we going to overcome? People overcome things that are in their day. 
Who doesn't know what is here on our day? Doesn't know. We have destroyed that war because many people come here on the sand. Why are they on honest or on Friday today? You know, you have to make your own decisions. You have to. And many other things. And many other things. There are very many things that we are required by the one to do. That we must realize we are overcoming. We are overcoming. Until when other people of the other age who will be given their testimony of how they can you imagine when the Peter stands up and try to tell us how they were fighting the, 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 the Roman Empire. How Romans were so tight and every corner there was somebody to take to, to, to see what they are doing. Not to preach in the name of the Lord. And then it mentioned, you know, I know you have ever lived in a place where I asked them, let them tell us today. Then he tells us, that was only what was recorded. There were more talks more than that. And this is how it started. You know, they are testimony we don't mind the time. Because there will be, there will be no night, there will be no day. There will be no night, there will be no day, there will be no time, there is no Monday. So you can relax there. In any case, we don't mind how our chambers will fare. We don't farm. In the city, people don't farm. It is in the other nation where the people will farm, bring food. <laughs> ah, this is super. This is super. Well, Peter is explaining that and explaining and explaining and explaining and ask, brother, you think when they arrested me? When they arrested me? Because I, I insisted. I cannot hear. They took me to prison. They don't they, 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 they thought that tomorrow they will take me to, 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 the, to, the, to the court. But the angel of the Lord came. The pillow there came. Mm. Ah. Mm. Then he tells us, the one who that is flooding this city. Mm. Ah. Are you understanding? Brother Bram told us, Jesus will sit on the, on the throne. Then the Father, the Lord, the pit of fire, will flood the whole city with light. Is that right? Amen. Then he will refer to us, the one who is flooding this city. You know, the city. I saw the same light we, have, we are enjoying here. In the cell. And they told me, Peter, 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 wake up. And let me tell you, my brother, you think it's a salty story. You just read it very strong. Very, you, you only read the, the summary of the story. How he did not go home straight. How the pillar of fire led him to where the believers were playing. Did he go at his home? He should have gone there. To tell the wife and children I have been released. But he went. Who told him there are people that are praying? Those testimonies will be super sweet. You might ask, Peter, and what then? Tell me, my brother. I thought that this should be like in the boat. That one, one person in our day. She will tell Peter, Peter, hold on, hold on. I know in your day there was no corona. Yes. I know in your day, you are, you are, you are, you are, you are. I know in your day, you are, you are, you are, you are father in law got sick. And you are with Jesus. And he, he, he was healed. There was those, those, those things. But let me tell you, in our day, Actually, it was not the government that had no problem. It was the fires that could not allow us to sit together. Neither did it to another. Mm. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> you 
No. I need to tell you that story. I need to tell you of one story of a brother that I know that was dying of virus. He, he almost died. And so he say, he got it from the church. So I need to tell you that story of that brother so that if you are not, if you have no faith at all, you stop coming here. Because it is those kind of people that need to go so that Christians can remain. People who want to live more, to do whatever they think they will do. But we need the people who would say like, <laughs> this man, I like the saying of Abednego, Meshach, and, and the, the other man. They said, we know you have put fire. But let me tell you, we will not bow to nothing else. We won't bow to government. We worship only and only our God. We cannot worship anything else. We worship Jehovah. And we know Jehovah has power, even over that fire. But let us tell you in advance, even if he does not, you know, take care of us and we are burnt, let us die. We cannot. If a man who is not a believer can say, it is better to die standing than right, to die kneeling down. <laughs> I love that man. He's a politician. He was saying that he cannot, you know, they cannot bow pressure to the government. So it is. So he quoted another man who said, "It is better to die standing, like a man. Die like a man." You know, Brahma said the, the, the vast believers die in his victory. Yeah. It is better we die when exercising what God said. Yeah. That other than not to do it, we are sinners. And we are backsliders. And we not be not set to begin with. It is for overcomers. People who believe in God and in God only. So you better start straightening your life. You better start straightening your life. We are coming to undone the thing. Which will be like, which will be like Akichungi, who is a believer and who is not a believer. One of these days is God pressurized things. Believers will remain believers. Making believers will show their colors. I tell you, think in your head. You have to make decisions. The place is for overcome. Overcomer is somebody who has gone beyond what the other people are doing. Concerning what the one of God said. Nothing can stop us. Mm. Live our own in death. Mm. <laughs> Corona is not in death. Mm. Live our own in death. Mm. We have to exercise God's word. Mm. And I mean it. Yeah. And I mean it. Yeah. And I mean it. Mm. There must be an overcomer in this age. Yeah. God bless you. Yeah. There must be an overcomer, my brother. Yeah. Somebody who can testify yeah. to other ages. How things were serious. Mm -hmm. But even though they were like that, mm -hmm. we remained true to God, and God remained our Savior, mm -hmm. and Jehovah remained our God, mm -hmm. and we overcame. Mm -hmm. Cannot go to heaven just by coming here on Friday, and on Sunday, and on Friday, and on Sunday, or even another day, the way we are, mm -hmm. and we forget the promises of God. What the God promised must be kept. Yes. Yes. No devil. Mm. No devil. Mm. 
No amount of intimidation, inter, uh, intimidation from hell can stop the bride exercising what God said. Yeah. I'm repeating. We, I better die with my family exercising what God said. Yeah. Other than to die with my family because of going to the market. We go to market, we go every place, we do business, we can contact Corona there. Yes. If we contact because of coming to church, that is fine. Amen. I want to say that is fine. That will be the will of God. He said he wants the assembling of saints. That's what he said. So if we can assemble here and we die, mm -hmm. then I am happy. There's another God waiting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Amen. I better die as a victorious man. Amen. Amen. What is the useless of staying 20 years afraid, mm -hmm. keeping myself somewhere alone? Mm -hmm. And when I to die, I will die. Very mm -hmm. yes. easily. You drive very well, mm. an idiot comes and knocks you and you die. Yes. An idiot. Yes. Another person we take, we take tomato together at, at Kitui. He goes there and drink, 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 and he want to drive. He is told by another person that man is, 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 is putting a signal to go the other side. He says, ah, forget, he is drunk. He knocks him and he dies on the spot. That's the other day. And he kills, he killed a teacher for nothing. Because of his carelessness. So, there is no safety. No safety at all. These cars we, 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 we bought, they are driven by drunk people. So, we must believe our life is on the hands of God. Neither can we be in a problem if we exercise in his word. Yes. But we don't exercise his word just because he has said it. We have to be clean people that have no blessing, people who have nothing against the word, pure in mind, and they are in there from God. They have examined their lives. Not the way you live, you come here, you will die. Mm -hmm. Examine yourself. Amen. Go home and examine yourself. God bless you. Amen. Let us pray. Precious Lord Jesus. From the depth of my heart, which you are the only person who knows the heart of men. You know, I am decided today to start another subject. And I wanted to speak on the only provided place of worship. The Lord Jesus, you changed me and you told me not yet. And I have to speak about the city and those that would dwell in the city. And you took me to the ones of the overcome. Now, that is a very serious thing because it is you are writing by your word. Those that will overcome, you do this to them. Then a person takes those scripture and I try to explain them. It's a bit difficult, Father. But I'm praying together with the members of this church, Lord, the Lord, that you may quicken those words to every one of us. As we go to approach the overcomer, and the overcomer is your wife, is your bride, and we are part of the overcomers. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, make us make the right decision. Lord Jesus, you can be preached by our faith. And you say, 
total obedience to your word entitle us to the token. Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus, I know this is a very dangerous section that we are about to talk. Lord, I pray, Lord, quicken our understanding, make us sober in our minds, and let us make the right decision as on Sunday we come to approach the subject of the overcomer. Lord Jesus, the Old Testament saint overcame. And many others we read from the Bible overcome, Lord. Even people of this day, whom you predestinated, will overcome. We don't know who it is. You are the one who knows who wrote in the book. You are the one who knows who wants to overcome. You are the one who made this one for, he, for her, Lord Jesus. We pray, Lord, that make our minds, Lord, where they are locked and we, the one doesn't go through. I lock those places for us, Father. Lord, as we even go home, I pray that you may take care of us. Bless us in our homes and in our works. Take care, even, uh, uh, take care of every one of us at our places. Take care of our children, our wives, our husbands, our fathers and our mothers, our relatives, Lord. We pray for them. We commit all things to you now. For us call this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You can stand up. Don't see the songbook. You can sing like a queen song as you go out. I think we know it all right. As we go out. Kikuyu songs are songs. I'm not afraid. 